Cancer, we will now be having a look to see what a relationship with this person could look like or what you could expect um, coming into a relationship with them. Okay, so who they are as a, a partner, um, relationship style type thing. Okay, got the star, queen of wands, four of wands. Okay, very beautiful, positive cards, Cancer, for the most part. Uh, this is someone who was wanting marriage or remarriage. It's someone who's wanting to settle down or feel like they have a base, feel like they have a family. Uh, or it could be that they're quite family orientated. Okay, so coming into this relationship, this person is quite affectionate. Um, the Queen of Wands, the Empress, can represent a lot of sexuality. So it's someone that could have a high sex drive or really adore intimacy, affection, touching, and sensuality. Um, it's very important for them that you get on with their family and friends. This is extremely important. It's come up in their cards here. Okay, so if they have children, if they have parents, if they have siblings, they have friends, it's very important for them that you make a conscious effort with these people and vice versa. That These people make a conscious effort in getting to know you and, of course, welcoming you into this person's life. Because family is very important for them. You've got marriage, you've got pregnancy and children. So for those of you that are at an earlier age in your life and wanting these sorts of things, Cancer, it could very well be that this person is looking for their first marriage, potential remarriage, um, their first child or more children, um, or creating some sort of family unit here. So that could be very important for them. With the star card, this is someone who wants to be very open about your relationship. So it's someone that might want to post things on social media. Um, they could even be a little bit possessive. I mean, the Queen of Wands is fired up by Leo energy, and Leo can be very possessive and protective as a sign. Now, for some of you Cancers, you might not necessarily be dealing with an Aqua or a Leo, but it could indicate that this person can have these sorts of tendencies. So they can be, you know, a little bit hot-headed at times. They can... You know, they like to own things. The Queen of Wands likes to be in control. She likes to know that people adore her and listen to her and things like that. So maybe at times this person could be this sort of lover when they can be very protective or even jealous. But they're very attractive as a person, but that doesn't mean they might not be jealous if you show other people attention or other people show you attention. So they may have a bit of a jealous streak here. Okay, um, but back to that star card. The star is more about healing, um, fate, destiny, serendipity. This person could be a real hopeless romantic cancer. They could fall very easily um, and they'll like sort of be seeing stars when they think about you. Um, looking at the stars can also be like seeking answers and looking to the future. So I think this person is fantasizing about the future a lot or when you're together they may um, fantasize a lot about your future together and maybe even talk to you about this because Aquarian energy likes to share their thoughts, likes to share ideas. So I don't think they're going to be shy about it. I don't see a shyness. There's no shy cards here. This person is pretty, pretty upfront, pretty open with what they'll want and how they'll feel, which is good. The star is exposure. But the star card can also be healing. So for some of you, this person... Coming into a relationship, maybe they're still healing from something that has happened in their life. Uh, if you've had a past with this person, maybe they're still trying to get over some things, maybe that you've done or they've done. So they're still in a healing process. Uh, of course, healing comes in many forms with many different things. But I think coming into this relationship, if they're still healing, they might still be getting over an ex or getting over something that happened to them in the recent past. So you might have to be patient with this person. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something that happened in their very distant past. Maybe something that happened years ago, decades ago. But they could still be working through that. And you may see those issues resurface because the star card, again, exposes things. It brings things to light. But I do feel this person likes to be very open in the relationship and they may appreciate honesty because the star card there's nowhere to hide with the star card. 
So maybe this person doesn't like secrets. They don't like to keep things hidden. They like everything out there where they can see it. Uh, so that element of exposure, I think, has is, is come up very much for this person. The Empress, um, you can see she's dressed here in this beautiful gown and she's got a very lavish background about her. Uh, this person might like to dress up, okay? They might like to dress up for you, Cancer. Or they might like to present themselves very well. I do feel they'll, they'll make an effort for you because the Empress, you know, she's presented herself immaculately. So I don't think all the time, Cancer, but I think a lot of the times... They might do a lot to impress you and to engage you. So as I think as a, as a lover, they could really Yeah, as a lover, they could really uh really do things or show their appreciation for you because I feel like it's an element of gratitude as well. So maybe they could be a very appreciative person. The four of ones, they might like to enjoy dating. They might like to enjoy do, doing a lot of activities. Um, they might want a couple or a relate, like a partnership or a relationship. They may want uh, that status to change fairly early on when the two of you get together. Again, they could talk about marriage, children, and, and moving in together fairly quickly in their relationship because those themes have come up. Again, they won't be shy about it. They'll just pour it all out there um, because the Queen of Wands is definitely not shy. Uh, she's quite open, actually. So they could be very open-minded. Emotionally, mentally, sexually, they could be quite open to certain things. But the Four of Wands can point to unions and celebrations. So they do like to celebrate love. And again, I'm pointing, uh, I'm sorry, I'm leaning towards someone who is romantic and does enjoy those pleasures because the Empress does. But she's also a very pampered energy. So again, I think it's someone who likes to spoil or enjoys being spoiled. So, and you know, whether it's which way is obviously going to depend on the person, on the individual, but that is coming up in the cards. And again, I've mentioned they're an affectionate lover. You can see the, uh, you can see the, the couple here. They're hopeful. I think they're quite pes uh, quite optimistic. If there's any pe pessimism, uh, it may come from the Queen of Wands because of jealousy, uh, you know, hot headedness, and. She's seen as superstitious, so maybe even paranoia, suspicion. So maybe they've just got a suspicious nature to them. Maybe they have trust issues here. I mean, it could be a variety of things, but um, definitely suspicion because the black cat is, uh, you know, seen as not taboo, but seen as, you know, something very peculiar. So they may, or maybe they just have a very peculiar side to them, or they have peculiar interests that may intervene in the relationship somehow. So it could affect whether it's in a good way or whether it's in a bad way. It may have some effect on your relationship, uh, on your connection together. But we, I guess, we, you know, we all have this at least on some level. So the fact that that's coming up here... Um, could definitely point to what this person or, or how they are presenting themselves or what they have been through because healing, I don't know if, I mean, the star card is next to the queen of wands. So maybe they're healing from trust issues, suspicion, uh, or something of this nature, maybe cancer. So thank you again so much for tuning in. It really does uh, mean a lot. 